When searching for the lost, remember eight things. One, we are vessels. We are rooms. We are so much less important than the things inside of us. We are circuit boards, swallowing the electricity of life upon birth. It wheels through us for all of our days. It creates every moment, the pulse of a story, the soft hums of labor and love. In our last moment, it will come rushing from our chests and be given back to the wind. When we die, we go everywhere. Two, Newton said energy is neither created nor destroyed. In the hallways of my old middle school, I can still hear my friend Steven singing his favorite song. In the gymnasium, I can hear the way he dribbled the basketball like it was a mallet and this earth was a xylophone. With an ear to the Atlantic, I can still hear the Titanic's band playing her to sleep. Music. Wind. Music. Wind. If you listen to the wind and you don't hear at least a thousand years of music, then you're not listening hard enough. Three. The day my grandfather passed away, there was the strongest wind. I could feel as his gentle hands were blowing away from me. I knew then they're off to find someone who needed them more than I did. On average, 1.8 people on Earth die every second. There was always a gust of wind somewhere. Four. The day Stephen was murdered, everything that made us love him rushed from his life wounds. So his chest were an auditorium, his life, an audience, leaving in single file, wandering the earth for days and nights. Every ounce of him has been wrapping itself around this world in a windstorm. I have been looking for him for nine years. Five. Our bodies are nothing more than host to a collection of brilliant things. When someone dies, I do not weep over their Polaroids or belongings. I begin to look for the life that has left them. I feel out the strongest breeze and take off running. Six, after nine years, I found Stephen. I passed a basketball court in Boston. The point guard dribbled, the heat of stadium roaring through his palms. Will, will, will Chamberlain pumping through his feet in his hands, flashing the x-rays, a crossover, a crossover, a rapper, rewinding turntables, cracking open. Cameramen turning flashbulbs to fireworks. Seven games. He never missed a shot. His hands were luminous, pulsing, pulsing. When I asked him how long he'd been playing, he said nine years. Seven. The theory of six degrees of separation was never meant to see how many people we could find. It was a set of directions for how to find the people we have lost. I found your voice, Stephen. Found it in a young boy in Michigan who was always singing his lungs, flapping like sails. I found your smile in Australia, a young girl's teeth shining like the opera house in your neck. I found your one true love come to life on the asphalt of Boston 8. We are not created or destroyed. We are constantly transferred, shifted, and renewed. Everything we are is given to us. Death does not come when a body is too exhausted to live. Death comes because the brilliance inside of us could only be contained for so long. We do not die. We pass on, pass on the life burning through our throats. When you leave me, I will not cry for you. I will run into the strongest wind I can find and welcome you home.